In mid-August, the Ministry of Health declared polio a public health emergency in Uganda. Samples analyzed at the Uganda Virus Research Institute confirmed a circulating vaccine-derived polio virus type 2. So once we introduce the vaccine in the body, in the mouth, it usually gets into the GIT, the intestines, and starts to replicate. Once it keeps replicating, uh, that is the best way it can mobilize the immune responses. Once that child passes out the fecal matter in environments where other people are not vaccinated, under vaccinated or not at all vaccinated, then you see these viruses being passed on to other populations. In response to the outbreak, Minister of Health has heightened surveillance to the rest of the country. We extended our environmental surveillance to Moroto and to Gulu, yeah, and I think to Arua. Uh, those sewage systems now actually are under routine surveillance. We pick now samples. We've trained teams good enough to do that. The upcoming vaccination campaign is intended to reduce the number of unvaccinated children in the country. That cohort five years after is about 2.1 million people unimmunized in the whole country. So that's a huge risk for us. The advantage with the oral polio vaccine is the more doses, the better for you. Even if you got yesterday and the campaign starts today, we expect that we, you are part of those that are going to be vaccinated. There is no overdose for that. So people should not worry over an overdose. And there will be a house to house. People are not going to gather in, in spaces, outreaches, no. We are collecting a huge force of health workers. Uganda was certified free of all polio viruses in 2006. However, it faces a threat of polio importation from neighboring countries. In DRC, where their health structure is broken down, especially towards the Ugandan borders. In South Sudan, where the health systems are poorly broken down, completely almost nothing. So entirely reliant on our, on our health systems. So that's why, in the end, we see ourselves having these importations. In the past 12 months, over 19 African countries have declared outbreaks of the type 2 polio disease. Polio is a viral disease that is transmitted from person to person, mainly through fecal oral route or, less frequently, through contaminated water or food and multiplies inside the intestines. Walter Mwesi J, NTV.